What's up everybody, the Crab Gamer here with you as always. Thanks for taking time out to check out another one of my videos. It's always greatly appreciated. Um, there's another DirectX 12 sighting. And if there's one thing that makes Xbox fans happy and PlayStation fans nervous, it's any talk of DirectX 12. Of course, as an Xbox fan, you want that to help out the console, improve visuals, improve performance, and things like that. And I believe that's 100% what we're going to get. What the Sony fans want is for it to do nothing, which obviously uh, it's not going to do. Now we've had big time developers come out, even the other day, the Ubisoft technical director came out and said, hey, DirectX 12 is going to increase visuals and performance on the Xbox One. Um, today, we have this awesome footage of DirectX 12 running Fable Legends, and I'm going to go ahead and include the link to the video and the article in the description so you guys can check it out. No doubt they've already imported DirectX 12 to use with Fable Legends. Um, as I said before, it makes sense that some of the higher name developers for the big games and of course the first party developers would have use of this already. Um, and I know what some of you fanboys are going to say, but, 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 but Phil Spencer tweeted that, that, that it wouldn't be uh, a massive, massive help. And uh, I would say, yeah, but you didn't get the whole conversation, and it's a Twitter uh, feed. It's not like it's the gospel. Uh, and let's just point out this fact, okay? Are you always going to show your hand right up front? I don't think that's how it works. Uh, if you go back to when the PlayStation 3 was announced and the Wii was announced, and you had people like Jack Tretton saying, hey, we're, we're too old for lollipops, we don't want to do gimmick controls. Ha <laughs> ha! And then a couple years later, they're announcing the PlayStation Move. Um, so obviously you're not going to show your complete hand every single time. Um, I actually am getting very excited for what the possibilities are. We're seeing that it's actually going to create uh, less strain on the hardware itself, which is a win. It's going to free up some resources at the very least, which is also a win. Um, and these screenshots in this video is just fucking phenomenal. And what we've heard from Lionhead Studios is, and they boasted that this is the best looking game on the Xbox One. Um, so there's a lot of good news coming out on Xbox One lately. Uh, I'm not sure why we haven't been seeing a lot of it in the mainstream media, but you can always check it out on my channel. I'm always quick to the, uh, to the forefront with it. Uh, and I still might do a video on what they found in Digital Foundry for Forza Horizon 2. Uh, they did their quote-unquote spectral analysis on it. Uh, 1080p, full 1080p, no frame rate drops, four times anti-aliasing which is something that I was informed that the quote-unquote shitbox one couldn't do since it's the quote-unquote 720p machine. Um, but here you go. You have an open-world racer running 1080p, no frame rate drops, four times anti-aliasing. Beautiful. You have Fable Legends looking gorgeous. You have Rise Son of Rome looking amazing. Man, you have Halo Anniversary looking phenomenal keep telling me that the Xbox One is under power and I'm going to keep laughing at you. I'm going to tell you again, show me anywhere where the PlayStation 4 has a 30, 40, 50% power advantage. Show me the proof and I'll eat dog shit. I don't think I'm going to be eating any dog shit anytime soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep it here for all the news, reviews, and previews. And remember, rack it up. Crab Gamer, out.